So hot up here. Underscore sound. Underscore show. Underscore radio, y'all. That's the 100th anniversary. Mic check, series Be slash artist workshop, workshop. Yeah, with my boy Jahari, and they came straight out of Brooklyn. Workshop, we got like 15 people in the lounge right, right. celebrating with us for the 100th anniversary and having a dope, amazing two-part series show. So we get ready to get started, right? We ain't wasting That's no time, it. right, y'all? Right. You know, we always start off the show with a sound from a joint, so we're going to start yeah. off with that Blood of Kings, because it got that ceremonial, victorious sound. That right. we need right now. So let's get that going, yeah. y'all. Intro of the show, produced by me, H2 The Samples, The Ushers. I'm not afraid to stand with the people. I got a shine that's the 
Check series slash artist workshop show as well. Right, right. Want to talk to the people? Me and Jahari on the out loud mic talking to the people curating the show. Right, yeah, yeah. Peace, peace, everybody. How y'all feeling? Yes, feeling good. If you outside, you can hear me. You can definitely pull up in here right now. Appreciate everybody pulling up. First of all, first and foremost, I want to give a nice shout, a round of applause for Sound Show Radio in their hundredth episode. Can we thank you, yo? We appreciate you, yo. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we appreciate that. We appreciate that. We definitely want to salute that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not easy reaching that milestone. Thank you. Um, that shows consistency. That shows hard work. That shows diligence. You know what I'm saying? So we want to salute that. Salute all of you guys on the team, the Sound Show Radio team. Thank you. And definitely salute y'all. I appreciate y'all for always giving artists a platform, right? That's, it, um, that's what this is about. That's what the artist and repertoire workshop and the show and mic check and all of that is about. Shout out to Brooklyn is about. You know, op- uh, giving opportunity that's and creating right. space that's for right. artists to do their thing. So I appreciate right. y'all for pulling up today. We're gonna have a nice session. We're gonna play some dope music. That's right. The artists in the building. Shout out to Big Moody. Shout out Yanni Rose in the building. Shout out to Dope. Right. Shout out to Mr. Lucas here. City of King. So many, right. so much talent. I see you, man. The last thing back there. In the building. MCK right. Swift is in the building. We got a lot of people building. in the building. MCK Swift, I see you, my G. Some great artists in the building. So we're gonna play some songs from some special guests. And then we're going to get into the nice, amazing, uh, oh, right. just this wonderful joints that, right. that these artists been working on throughout the workshop. So, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yo, we appreciate so more. Make sure everybody yeah. turn off your phone. I forgot to turn off my phone. People calling me in the <laughs> middle of the show. Disturb. Put your phone down. Do, do not disturb. And, shit. and then we can go ahead and continue and have a dope show. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, my boy knows, man. You know, let me know who you want to sit down and get ready to get started for the interviews and performances. Who do you who would you like to talk to and sit down first at the panel and then get ready to start the show? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. So okay. first let me um you know just break down the artists and repertoire workshop. Please do. You wanna you know, come to the panel? The workshop. How you wanna do it? Workshop. Now, I'm gonna stay right okay. here. I'm gonna stay okay. right here. So the workshop, as some of you guys know, I'm sure you all have been following me, obviously. Um the workshop is a five call workshop where we work with artists over a five week, but this this one, this cohort specifically took a bit longer right. um, because we was really working. But um, we work on songwriting, recording, performance, media marketing, um, and those are pretty much the five areas that we focus on when we work with artists. Um, the idea is to create, like I said, a safe space for artists to really create from their most authentic selves, is what we like to say. And what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? As you hear the songs that they play a little bit later, I think you'll get a good understanding after going a little bit more deep, you know, later and they'll explain. But um, just really being as honest as possible as young artists, and that's important uh, to build that foundation and to give them that opportunity to do that, right? And to encourage that. Um, I'm big on pouring into the youth. So it's really about if we, if we want to hear and we want um, our young people to present themselves in a certain way, but we got to give them the encouragement and give them the space to do so. That's so that's what the workshop is about. And today, 
like I said, we invited some really dope artists that aren't in the workshop to come and play some of their music as well because what I wanted to do is I wanted to show the artists in the workshop some other artists that are a little further along than them in their right. journey, right, so they can see how they're doing. Right. And then I also wanted the other artists that are a little further along to just, you know, see what the young artists are up to and give them encouragement, right? So that's it's kind of like that's a generation of music type of thing we doing right now, and I appreciate DTF Radio, sounds so great for getting it done. So, that's a fact. Um, is my brother Chris Crown here? Where he at? He out there? Chris Brown, I think he's downstairs. Chris Brown is downstairs. Yeah, I think he's getting right, you know. I think okay, he's back, okay, back, 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 back. All right, so what you want to start so off with? We're going to start out with Moody. You, you said you're trying? Moody, yes. Okay, back. So Moody, pull up for me real quick. So I Moody is one of my Moody. favorite. Moody. Yeah, put a round of applause for Moody. Yeah. Moody. Yeah. Moody. Moody. Moody is from my, my hometown, Flatbush. She represents Big Flatbush. She's one of my favorite artists. Um, shout out to Kevo who put me on the Moody, and um, you know ever since I met her, energy is great. I've been following her. She's a really, really dope, dope MC and just artist, and she has a song that I want to share now. So like I said, this is gonna be. She's gonna play. The artist is gonna play their songs, and we're gonna get feedback now. Feedback as far as ideas and what you think about the song, but also one thing that we're gonna specifically talk about after we hear each artist's song is the lifespan of a song, right? Like. How does an artist maximize this one song? We have a song, a lot of times as artists, we get, because I, I don't say we, because y'all know that, you know what I'm saying, I was, I, you know, right, I, I, right, artist, right. I did this, right? So we get into a, a, a kind of like a, a cycle of, I got a song, I got this, and I created a video, and I did that, right? And I'm gonna do a show, and I did that, and then like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we find ourselves in that cycle, and we don't really have a plan or a strategy. So we don't strategize and we don't plan, we don't maximize and get the most out of our songs. Right. So that's some of the things we want to talk about today with some of these songs and some of these videos we're going to be seeing today. So I'm going to pass it off to Moody, she's going to introduce herself in the song, and we're going to get power. That's right, man. How y'all doing? Uh, What's up, Moody? Yeah. What's up, Moody? That in the building. Moody, yeah. I, I just really feel real blessed to be here. You know, I'm grateful. I want to say shout out to Noah because, you know, you believe in me heavy, so I appreciate that. I'm from Flatbush, I'm from Brooklyn, feel me? My family's Jamaican. I'm from, uh, my name is Moody. And the song I'm playing for y'all is Aladdin. Um, I wrote Aladdin just based off of me, like, you know? And I feel like that's why the song got far how it did. Because I feel true to myself, I actually wrote it for my fans and already support me. So That's the fact, we're gonna get into that, man. We about to get into a fire record by Moody. Moody, you know you came through and had an amazing show with us. You and Fancy, um, no, but you and Fancy Rich through and had an amazing show. The Mic Check Ladies Edition series, that was a hot show. Available on IG and YouTube, right? So hot. Right. So we're going to get into this record again by you, Moody. This one is Aladdin. This is a hit record, man. We want people to understand what type of hit record this is right here. You know what I mean? Let's get ready to bring in that energy. You know what I mean? Came from bad, came from the tags, now I'm signing bitch. Came from the chest,
hottest in the mainstream hip hop and R&B artists all over the world. Shout out to Moody on that record. That, that joke was called Aladdin. Yo, my boy Moody, Johnny, Moody, 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 oh, big flap for Joe Bella. Another round of applause for Moody, y'all. Yeah. Aladdin, Aladdin. So yo, so that track, you know, it's like what's dope. What I like about it is I always like when rappers can um, get on songs, maintain like what I call a lyrical dexterity. You know what I'm saying? Like when you like. Shout out to my brother in the back there, and they, you know what I'm saying, with his daughter. Shout out to, shout out to um, Nia. Um, and the reason why, not just because it's my brother, I shout him out, but he's also one of the greatest rappers that I've known, right? It is nice. Yeah, so when I look no, at him, I think about, and I say lyrical dexterity, you know, I, I look at him and that's what I think of. And it's always good to hear rappers get on tracks that are fun, but still maintain lyrical ability, right? And it's easy for, I feel like, certain people in here, but when you know a rapper could rap, like, it's quick, you hear it quickly. I never forget when I first heard Mandela, shout out to Mandela, and uh, it was at a show um, in Bowery or somewhere like that, that. And like, it don't take long to go back to someone could rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you just be like, oh, they got it, like, yeah, they, they got, got something, it. you know what I'm saying? So that's what I appreciate about the track, because it's fun, right? But like, it's like, oh, nah, she rap. She could rap, she has a skill, so. I don't know if anybody else heard anything, and I, and I have more thoughts, but um, anybody else have any comments or any questions or any thoughts about the song? Um, what's good, Sherry? You got something? So I definitely wanted to say I felt the personality do song. Right. Like, I just met you. I don't know you at all, but just hearing you in the song, like, I saw a lot of just the vibrancy and the way you changed your tones up and everything. Like, I, I really, really enjoyed that. Thank you. Same. That's the fact, mm -hmm. man. You know, she brought that energy with that yeah. record. Remember the first time we heard it, man? Yeah, we were like, yeah. felt it. Yeah. <laughs> so, what I want to ask Moody is, right, so when we talk about the lifespan of a record and we say the song is called Aladdin, um, tell me about your plan for the song, is the song out? Um, I mean, off the top, I think Aladdin, so I'm thinking the video has to do something with the genie and Jasmine, right? He's an automatic equipment, but my mind goes on the marketing tip, right? So you tell me, you know, is there a video, is the is song out? Give, you know, give us some information about the song. Yeah, so the song is out um, on streaming platforms. I haven't done the video yet because I want to just come correct with the video. I have, I'm a very big visionary, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm very sensitive on my shit. So mm -hmm. I wanted to, you know, see how I see it in my head. Um, that's really what I'm waiting for. Um, the lifespan of the song. Um, this song, when I wrote it, I really just wrote it. I wanted to speak my truth. Like, you know, I feel like every song I was making before that was kind of like I was just making hits. Like, I was just saying, like, okay, this shit sound like a bob. Okay, let me just write with it. This one, I reset. I said, I'm just writing this shit for people who support me. Support me. And at that time, I only had like 10 supporters, and half of them was my family. But, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I was like, and this is the song that actually brought me out because I guess, like, when you're true to yourself and you speak your truth, a lot of people fuck with that, so that's why, you know, I fuck with a lot of my baby, and I see myself as a lot, you know, he came from a struggle, he mm. ended up being a prince. So. I see my boy LB I like it. too. Yeah, so that's just what it was. That's a fact, Moody. We really appreciate you on that, man. Okay. 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 So real quick, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the focus on okay. for one more question. Right. Um, real quick, that's all right. Okay. All right, cool. So we're gonna keep the focus on Moody, but like you said, my brother LB Leo Bars just came in the building. Shout out to the Shout out to the in general. He represents Everybody. dope music monopoly, that's and exactly. um, you know, we definitely brothers in arms in this in this artist development and just like enrichment of Brooklyn culture right. type of thing. And um, he's a big figure in the scene, and I definitely wanted him here to impart his knowledge. Right, his you know insightful music business knowledge with you guys. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, he has a lot of the knowledge, and we don't have time for all of it. But like we spoke about earlier, we were talking about the lifespan of a record. And Moody just played a dope record called Aladdin. You missed the record, but um, I definitely want to. Um, I want you to introduce yourself, and then I want to just ask Moody one more question. Okay. Peace and love. How y'all doing? What's up? What's up? I'm an artist developer, I'm an independent artist, I'm a community activist and humanitarian. My business name is Do Do Music Not I appreciate you, my brother. Um, my heart and my um nonprofit organization is called Cultivating Confidence as well. So let's just get to it. 
Mooney, I've been watching your journey. Young Goddess, I've been watching your journey. I've been watching a lot of journeys, and I really appreciate what Nova's doing in this platform that he opened up. Right. Shout out to City, shout out to Crown, shout out to um, Santa Pro, shout out mm -hmm. to DTF, shout out to FI. Um, but the lifespan of a record is basically how you'll be able to hold it. It's three months, technically. Three months, technically, is the time. Right. Um, depending on your marketing promotion strategy, what you plan, how you analyze your use your analytics on the back end to right. you use Sounds the analytics right. on the back end. Don't just look at them like, oh snap, I got 38 follows in Chicago. You have to use that. So using the analytics and not just looking at them and feeling excited about the numbers, feeling excited about the grass. They're there for a reason. They're there to use them. You don't know how to use it? Find somebody on Fiverr. There's people on there for seven dollars an hour right. that'll teach you how to make graphs and understand the analytics of your record. Mm. If you want that record's lifespan to last more than Right. The light, the the mind is 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 just short. It just you know the, right. the attention span is very short. Right. Um, and I've been in a couple of board meetings as well recently where they don't want records over three minutes. Mm. Yeah. They don't. Want. That's why everything is two inches right. these days. Right. Two right. Or less. Yep. That's um, right. Instagram and TikTok, the, these things were built on a load of short attention span. Yep. Yep. It worked yep. like a charm. Yep. So with that being said, we just have to adapt to it. If we're going to be serious with our artistry, we want to have some longevity. We want to build a legacy. If you want to make a track that is timeless, right, mm -hmm. right, um, right. things of that nature. One more thing, because I'm going to want to get off the mic. Okay. When you do these tracks, make them everlasting. It's one of the reasons that I don't put movie and newspaper recurring events in my raps. I don't do that to keep it timeless. Right, right. Now, that means five years from now, somebody hear my record, it's still fresh. Right, right. You feel me? Right. If I had some current events in that same record, then I'll miss them. And now harmony with that record, we spoke about harmony with records, whatever. So I'll miss them in that harmony, and now like, I've missed something. I've, I've got somebody that liked my music, and it could have been a super fan. And that's not what you want to do. You, don't wanna, you wanna make sure you monopolize on your craft. So when you create that music, because it comes from your heart, it comes from your spirit, make sure that you try to keep in mind legacy, longevity, a song that can last through the times. And we all, as independent artists that are um, tightening our craft, we know what that means. We know what that entails. Just pay attention and apply it. Apply it. All right? We appreciate you. That's a fact. Definitely, definitely. I appreciate you. As you can see, Leo Barnes is very in tune with his music yes. industry. Yes. He does a lot what he's talking about. Yes, you know what I mean? That's a fact, man. So all you up and coming artists, definitely check them out. Dope Music Monopoly, check them out. You know what I mean? Incredible artist, incredible businessman. You know what I mean? I met him through Nova. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nova is introducing me to so many different artists and people. You know what I mean? This guy is like an intersection. There's so many dope things, man, for the culture, music. You know what I mean? Films, clothing, so much going on with my boy Nob as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, yo. We so just um, we just trying to bring it all together. You know what right, I'm saying? right. Support the dopeness in the culture and make everybody have an intergenerational conversations. We got a lot of young people here. We got people that been doing this for a long time. So it's just dope. You know, people with wisdom and people that need wisdom. And so it's dope. You know what I'm saying? And these are the type of you know spaces that we need to just be able to enhance and continue. So that's like I said. Um, we're going to keep it moving. Right. You know, I hope y'all got some gems. I hope you got some juice to what LB was saying. And obviously, LB at the end, you know, you can always follow up with him. And he has a lot of, you know, programs that he'll be able to talk to us about. But let's, play, let's, get, let's get to another um, another artist real quick that's not in the workshop. We got a couple artists outside of the workshop, like I said, special right. guests. I want to call my brother Mandela Esquia up here. Y'all can do a round of applause. Right. Right. Like yeah. I said, I met Mandela many right. years ago at an event, seen him on stage, he was both performing, and as soon as I seen him rap, I said, oh, he got it. Like, he's one of them, you know what I mean? So. Appreciate you, appreciate you. I don't know what I'm supposed to say now, but. <laughs> um, Mandela Eskia, AKA Black Zeus, Harlem, New York. Um, Harlem, New York. Yeah, yeah, the record I sent is actually not released. It's called Like Yourself. I'd be wanting to, I'm working on a new project that's gonna be called Baba. And that's what I used to call my um, my, my father, Lombe Braff. I called him Baba. So I'm working on this record with my homie Domino, Squizzy Dope Records. Right. And this is a producer sent me something. I sent him something back, and I'm just curious to see how it uh, relate to you know other people because I haven't really played it for anybody yet. So 
You got it right. Let's get into this record, right? Yeah, yeah. This is by Man Mandela Esquia. This song is called Like You. You know what I mean? You know how we do on South Shore Radio, we always premiering some of the hottest independent music from all this all over the world. As you see, Mandela's from Harlem, New York, you know what I'm saying? So we get ready to get this going, you know how we do, South Shore Radio, 100th anniversary. Mike check, all this workshop. Let's go. Like, 
anybody can connect to that, yeah. that idea. Right. So, and that, I mean, that's, that's just really what I'm looking at. But in terms of visuals, I want to do something like that. Right. I haven't thought of exactly what I want the visuals to look like. Right. But I know a lot of my stuff, I, I pay attention to like how I'm presenting on social media. So I'm going to do that before I do an actual <coughs> video. Right. Like more right. like con small content pieces, right. pieces right. of the record so I can get people to like right. connect with it. and right. Yeah. And that's important, right? That's part of maximizing this, the record, right? You know what I'm saying? Before yeah. you even do a video, having some sort of visual content, you know, because like I said, a lot of times we make a song, we get so excited about the song, you spend money in the video, but then we don't even spend money in promoting the video. Right, I see people do the, I see people make the same mistake all the time. Out, and you got no right. views, and all you really did was promote the, the video right. shoot and yeah. the video right. whatever, but the fact is happening, right? right? So a lot right. of times you could maximize other content that's yeah. cheaper, right. you know what I'm saying, to move the, the project. So I think that's really dope. And I think what you said, one thing you said that's really dope before we move, we got some questions out there before we move on to a question is, you know, just I have an idea of the aesthetic, right? Like right. I, I try to tell artists like, totally. if it's Baba, and if it's if it's a certain timeline that you that your song or your project is, dive in 3,000%, you know what I'm saying? If, if this is like some old school shit, it's all the way old school, like mm -hmm. do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Go into that world. That world. Yeah. Like, go all the way into that world. You know what right. I'm saying? So people can understand that this is what this is about. Because like you right. said, like LB said, attention span is very low. So K Swift got a question. Yo, one more thing, I want to say something before you say something. I want to elaborate on what you said. You know how we, we all keep putting out as artists, producers, content, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Whatever type of genre of music, we all make shows, we all make videos, right? And then you realize that you gotta turn around and spend bread to promote that shit properly. You know what I'm saying? And like No said, it's like so many people get lost in the fact of making the content that we don't spend the proper time in promoting it. So that's the same type of shit we on with our show. Mm -hmm. So right now we're about to spend all the rest of the summer and the rest of this month, and I mean the rest of this year, and focusing on marketing and promotion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's all about that. We all putting out dope content, but it's all up to us to make sure more people will see that and more people are aware of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And no, don't forget to talk to the other three members because I don't hear Mika Baby, I don't hear So Hot Up. Don't forget to ask them questions too. Okay. It ain't oh, just me. No, yeah, no, 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 my squad is silent no, today. No. And I want to hear their voices too. I'm not the so, you know what I'm saying? Ball. Mika Baby, how you feel about what's going on so far and what you see in the day? You know what I mean? Well, Talk to the people. So far, it's been heat, fire source. As you usual, know I mean? right? I got a good gift for music as right. well too. You know what I mean? I like movies, music. Right. Music. Everybody in the room that's coming to this place. Right, that's Mandela. Mandela, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, Mandela, 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 we're on the anniversary, right? do every Saturday, man. That's so fact, right? Sounds What's radio, y'all. Y'all don't see Cuzzo all the time. He always the yeah, guy on the fire, but never here. Exactly. So shout out to my Cuzzo Red Sand 77, man. What you feel about what's going on? I mean, the music, the music got substance and, 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 and yeah, it's time. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Timeless, and Norman's yeah. right, though. And LB is right. If you put a song out, you want it to be long lasting. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's timeless. You got to market it. You got to market it. You got to yourself. You got to yourself. What you going to do? Yeah, people got it. We got to invest in ourselves more. We all, everybody has to invest in themselves. People put stuff out and they don't want to spend no money to promote it. But we all spend money on some bullshit, right? That won't get your life further, right? Exactly. Promote your stuff, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's a fact. So that's what we get ready to get on with Sound Show Radio. He get ready to get on that heavy mic check series artist workshop. We about to make sure a lot more people see what we doing right now. Yeah. Let's go oh, back to it. I do promotion. I do promotion. I do promotion. Professional promotion. Right. How like LB do music monopoly? Can be monetized. Right. I do professional promotion. No, I don't do third party promotion. I know curators at title. Right. I know people that at curators at Spotify. Right. I know curators at Dizzer. Like, so no, we're a third party business, you know what I mean? We don't do that. Right. So tap in. That's a fact. Tap, tap into my boy OB. Yo, Music Monopoly. Yo, MCK Swift. Yo, yes, welcome to the show, my P. Welcome to the show. MCK Swift representing New Rap Order. That's you know what I'm saying? What's up, man? NewRapOrder.com. And um, so my question is, it's kind of a trick question, and okay. I want to direct it to both Mandela, Skia, and Moody. Right. Um, and the reason I'm asking the question is because great artists are usually very humble. Right. And with that humility, right. you forget to put yourself first, mm. right? So Great. my loaded question is for both Mandela Sia and Moody is where can we find your music? Mm. That's a fact. Mm. Okay. 
So if you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all those places, it's Black Zeus, B L A C K Z E U S X, Z E U S X. Hit the link in the bio, you can find me on streaming, as simple as that. And, you know, we're working on building the streaming up this year, so simple as that. Um, yeah, like I have the links to my music on Instagram at Moody Dot, M O O D Y D A T, but you can definitely find me on Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify. That's a fact, Moody. Shout out to Moody. Shout out to Moody. Moody Dot on Instagram. Shout out to Mandela Esquia, y'all. That's a fact. Shout out to Mandela Esquia. Big, big, big one. Shout out to Mandela Esquia. Like yourself, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, he's definitely Mandela's a really dope artist, man. Harlem bred, representing Harlem and just really representing for the spitters. You know what I'm saying? We about to um, get some joints on, though. We about to, yeah, we about to get another joint on my brother. I want to see Nate too. One, one, yeah. of, one, of my, one of my brothers, Brooklyn brothers, is in the building. Yeah, my Crown House Crown, representative. Hey. I want to call my brother Chris Crown up in the That's building, going to the yeah. front. Y'all give a round of applause for Chris Crown. <laughs> He's um one of the dopest performers. He's touching all the stages and um he specifically has this track that I really love. He's got a lot of tracks that I love. We got this one that I really, really love. Um he sent it to me. I got like an early exclusive listen to it and um, I wanted to play it for y'all so and just talk about it. So you know, if you can introduce yourself. So. Yeah, shout out to everybody in here. You know what I mean? We all in here, dope artists, dope acts. Appreciate Nova for always setting it up and um, showcasing us. My name is Chris Crown, Crown Ace Brooklyn. Um, you can have uh, my album, Different Lanes, is out right now on all platforms. Uh, Chris Crown Black Sounds. I uh, sent, uh, I did the interview over here. That's a fact. You know what I mean? We did, a dope, we did a dope interview, a dope show with, you, with Chris Crown and Billy Official. Right, so, huh? Yeah, I know, especially this show is available on IG and YouTube, you know what I mean? That's yeah. a fact, man. That's Appreciate y'all for show. that, but Definitely. drop the exclusive slow ride. Uh, it's like a hip-hop, you know what I mean? Um, the essence, it's like a, you know what I mean? Like, just a vibe. Like, I was meditating, riding, jumped in the car, ride, writing, and then inspired me to pick up that track. You know what I mean? So you can just, you can run the track. I'll vibe out with it. Okay. Right? Shouts to Clef. Um, Shouts to Clef, right? All right, right singer on it. Yeah, he jumped on the hook for me. He held it down. Um, Shouts to Black Sounds, producer. Like I said, the album out on all platforms. Let's right. get to it. All right, y'all. You already know, man. No time to waste. So get ready to get to it. This is about Chris Crown featuring Clef, man. This joint is called Slow Ride. Video up, too. The video is available and all yeah. that. Yeah. Turn that up. Uh, uh. Like I said, it's just a lot. Immaculate, slow vibes. Yeah, 
no lie, got me a deep thought My ear to the block is the streets talk, I understand Slow vibes got me a deep thought My God, I see a word like the beat talk, you feel me? Slow ride, slow vibes, and I meditate. Yeah. That's slow vibes. Now we do. Sound show. Uh, As we got into the three right here, DTF radio, man, we always displaying, always displaying the hottest independent music artists from the world, man. That's Chris Brown right there, man. From New York, Brown Heights. I do a rough time of this, man. That's my team right there. Shout out to my boy Nova, straight out of Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, turn it down, turn it down. Rock the Chris Crown, slow ride, y'all. Right. So I know that record. As soon as I hear that record, you know, and I wish, I wish we were able to turn this around so y'all can see the video. I was, yeah, I was showing it. I was showing it. Showing it? Was, was oh, okay, bet, bet, bet. Yep. So, um, you know, it's a really dope visual as well. As soon as I hear that song, I think about movies. Right? Yeah, that's like, just You know, and that's that's like what the conversation is about, right? Like, what do you hear when you hear this music? You know what I'm saying? Where should these mu the music go? How do we make this music last? Right. So Crown is actually an actor as well. I don't know if he said that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I hear this song, like this song needs to be in some movies. Like yeah. insane. You know what I'm saying? Licenses. Right. So he's working on license. So tell me, you know, the other ideas you have for like a song like this. I know you got the video out. And um, anybody got any questions first or anything like that? Feedback? Questions? I did. LB was good. All right, yeah, I got a question. Yeah. Um, I want to know if you would pitch that song, right? What type of film would you pitch it to? What type of film would you think you would pitch it to? Because I do play, I also put, put my brother on too, mm -hmm. of course. Um, we found a way for independent artists that if you own your stuff and you copyright it, you did all the right things, you can pitch it yourself. Right. So you got to start thinking about things like that. How, what type of movie would I pitch it to, and things that I need. So what, what type of movie would you pitch that to? Probably like a road trip movie, or... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now maybe you know a group of people yeah. that go on the road, whatever. Yeah. Or even like a smoker, um, like a smoker. Yeah, yeah, a smoke movie, that's, that's a meditative part, yeah. just trying to figure mm -hmm. out how to, you know what I mean, fix the plot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was gonna say that too. Um, artists, y'all need to focus on registering y'all music, you know what I mean? Like, you leave the studio and you won't go put it on SoundCloud and iTunes and all that. But you gotta register it, BMI or ASCAP, um, media base. I mean, make sure your music isn't coded and you, I mean, you register it properly. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you on that record. Appreciate That's you. That's our Chris Crown. That's your slow rock. Crown Heights, Brooklyn, y'all. That was an amazing record. That was a fire, fire, fire record. So when we get into this, important to think about the longevity of your record right like lb said if it's you know you think it sounds dope to be in a movie what kind of movie do the research you know find the the, the music supervisors find these people that you need to get in contact with to try to and your local people right a lot of times you we try to network this way we don't network this way we don't network this way you know what i'm saying so there's people in here that are actors you know what i'm saying like my brother Oheny, you know what i'm saying right? right and you know he's working in films you know what I'm saying? he might need a song for his new film and stuff like that so you know what i mean like these are the things that we need to be able to enable ourselves to you know make happen so speaking of my brother ohaney i'm gonna call him up here real quick give me a round of applause for my brother ohaney cornelius rapper singer instrumentalist actor comedian actor comedian you know all, all, all of the above you know what i'm saying he really um he really holds it down on many fronts give me all i'm going right all in born, but he's in Brooklyn now, representing the, the borough, representing the culture. Right. Um, I know this brother a long time. He's really, really dope, and I want him to play some new music that he has working on. So, all right. Hey, how y'all feeling? What's up, uh, man? Um, I'm going in a different direction musically. Uh, this next song is not released yet. It's, I don't, even, I don't, I don't think it's uh, mastered and mixed, but. Uh, the email said, send something that uh, you're working on. So I'm about to put out an Americana album. Um, like, you know, like a soulful country sort of vibe. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't know 
it's called the late bloomer. I'm old as hell, but I feel like I'm just getting started because I got like a lot of new ideas that are coming right now. So, so hey, so yeah. I'm gonna interrupt you. So yeah. it's called the late bloomer. The so late what? Bloomer, yeah. So that got a whole lot. Is it conceptualized? Is it like a concept album? Yeah, the concept, um, the concept is there's a, a guy named C, and he is in a polyamorous relationship uh, with uh, soil, soil and sun, and they're pulling them in two different directions. Mm. And so we're, for the reason, we see basically the life path of, uh, of these two relationships. You know what I mean? So, um, but this right here, I think it's a good song. I felt like, this one was closest to uh, connecting uh, with the people in the room and with us, and it's also like the catchiest. And I want to see how people react to it. I want to see how it sounds on speakers. So you ready on it? As a fact, man, this one is from Oheni Cornelius, man. It's trying to just Oheni. Oh, just Oheni, you yes. know what I mean? Yes. Oh, that's what you go by, just yes, your first Oheni. name. Oheni. Okay, bad, man. The song is by Oheni, man. This joint is called Dust. Shane is a high record. I checked it out earlier today, man. You know what I mean? That's vibe out. It's definitely a vibe, man. About to slow it down, vibe out of here real quick with this one. You know what I mean? So this is vibe. Oh, I'm sure radio. I'm excited to do this. Radio. Every Saturday at 2 3 p.m. Every Saturday at 2 3 p.m. Right? That's right. Yep. Radio. Sound Sure Radio. This one is called Dust. This one is called Dust. Let's go. It's a new premiere record. Let's check it out. Vibe it out and hear it all for the first time.
That's a fact, man. All right, yeah. Yeah, man, we appreciate you on that one. That was both Cindy, man. That's what it was called. It does. That's right, yeah. Put your hands together for my brother on me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, like, you know, music is music, so that's what we're doing. So, let me get your thoughts. What y'all think of Dust in the Wind? I, I, mean, I saw you vibing over here. What's your yeah, I know you got something to say. You, it's vibe. the first track you got something to say, right? Alright, go ahead, Dusty Blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah, catch your sound. That's the song, though, man. That's your sound, man. Me, me. That's it. Alright. Can I ask, like, uh, any particular inspirations, like, what music you might be listening to to come across this? Because I personally, I can't think of too many Harlem artists off the top of my head that right. sound like this. Right. So. He's his own thing. I right. He's original. Okay. Nah, for sure. Um, I, I listen to a lot of like guitar music, like Jimi Hendrix. Right. Um, I play I play guitar, and at the time I wrote this song, I, I'm playing all the instruments on the whole album. You know what I mean? Mm. Wow. So oh. at the time I wrote this song, I was with my ex girlfriend, and I came up with the hook, and uh, like we both had traumatic experiences in our life, and I came up with the hook, and I came up with the, the guitar part. And then we broke up, so she had a verse on it. So when we broke up, I took a verse off, and I was like, I'm taking the parts that I created on it, you know what I mean? And, um, and then I produced the whole song out, so she might sue me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. She was the But also, I found out there's a band called Kansas that use that, that word, dust in the wind. And right. It's a different melody and stuff like that, and I got it from an old saying from, from black people, you know what I mean? Right, right. So that's, for me, like, you know, they might try to sue me too, but for me, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. No! I can't. No! It's a good problem. It's a good problem. That's the point. You know what I mean? You just want to, I feel like, I, it took me eight years to make the album, and I listened to a lot of music and stuff like that. So, for me, I feel like I'm going to at least get eight years of promotion for the same record. You know what I mean? Nice. Nice. Dope, dope, dope. Yeah, give another round of applause for my brother. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna be winding down shortly, but not before we get to the important part of the afternoon. I want y'all to give a round of applause for the workshop artists that have been working so hard. We got Yanni Rose over here in the corner. Yanni Rose. Give a shout out to McBean over here. Yeah. 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 We're going to give a shout out to Devontae who's going to be here today. No doubt. But um, for the last 4 to 5 months, we've been working hard. Yeah. 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 Um, MCK Swift is going to bring you up here too. So they've been um, working hard. The Artist of Repertoire Workshop, like I said, songwriting, recording, performing, um, media and marketing. But the most important thing is getting these young artists to write from an authentic and honest space. Right? And one of the main things we do is we start with the biography and we get them to write their biographies out and record their biographies. Why do we do that? Because this is something that they need to know. Right? Like they need to know who they are before they get into any of these spaces and people start asking them questions. Before they even write these songs, they need to know who they are. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the most important thing. A lot of times artists write from an external place and not an internal place. So, you know, starting with the young artists that we think that's very important. I want to call City King, MCK Swift. Can y'all come up here, please? Yeah. Yes. Some of the brothers at home. Yeah. Make the workshop happen. We're going to be done with our City King Foundation. MCK Swift. Yo, we're gonna get into this project real quick. McBean, Yanni Rose. Yes, sir. They got seven songs and all. We got about six done, so we gonna, you know what I'm saying, just play it from the top and just run through the song. Yo, shout out my brother Jason, he came through, so some love. He's a really dope producer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's a lot of people in here doing special things. Right, um, a lot of you know legendary connects and stuff in here, so right. definitely I want everybody to network, network when we're done. But um, yeah, yo, the artist of repertoire workshop EP is almost complete, so we wanted y'all to hear some tracks. The first track we're gonna play is from Devonte. Um, Devonte's not here right now, so I'm Devonte's a producer by the way. He's not here right now, but I'm gonna have CD King kind of speak to the, to this track before we um get to you know the rest okay. of the tracks. 
This song is called Pop Flow, right? so we named it Pop Tentative Flow. Pop Flow. Mm. Okay, you might get to this joint by Devontae, right? Yeah. Even Devontae though he's not here. You got to keep it up, right? You got it? All right, CDC Sunday. You got it? Okay. Peace, y'all. CDC King. Peace. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm an artist. I like to make music, but I, I, I like to do the whole process. You know, I make stuff from scratch, record people, make the beats, right. you know, conceptualize. We do it all. Um, so. This song specifically, um, working with Devonte. Devonte is an artist who has like he has a vision and he wants that to be what it is, you know. And I I, I like that, you know. I like working with artists and and getting into their heads and like building what they imagine, you know. So this this is it was was imagined by Devonte and created by us. Right. Right. Yo, Jari, man, this is Devontae not here today, though, right? But it's yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Now, we're going to play the record. Yeah. Shout out to Devontae, right? Yeah. Go ahead, introduce this record, y'all. <coughs> pop Flow. Play. It's pop called Pop Flow, flow right? Pop Flow. We're going to play the whole thing, too, because it's just a beat. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try to vibe. Too. I was getting ready to say because all I see is instrumental. I'll yeah. get ready to tell you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so let's get ready to get into that. This is Pop Flow instrumental for our yeah. Devontae produced by Cindy the King, right? Let's get into it. Let's see if y'all can guess why we need the pop flow. Devontae, shout out to Devontae. Shout out to Devontae, he couldn't be here right now. But we represent for Devontae. Next track we got, we got, we got ready here. Which one play? Let me know which one to play. Okay, let me do it now. I want to get, I want to bring my brother McBean up here. Okay. Real quick, McBean's got a song. This is the first time that he was in the studio. And um, this brother right here is a dope rapper and a super dope singer. He don't like me to talk too much about how dope he is, but I'm gonna keep doing that because he's really dope. Right. So you wanna get into Thank this joint, right? Shout out to Nick Bean. What's the name of this track? Tell him about it. The name of this track is Who It Is, because I'm gonna tell you who it is. Who it is? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, you know, just wanted to tap into a more uh, aggressive and competitive nature type song that I don't get to uh, no, express in my everyday life, you know, right. so hope y'all enjoy. Uh, this one is by Mick B, man. This one is called Who It Is. This is produced by my boy City the King as well. So this is what my boy Nova is saying. It's about the artist workshop, man. He's bringing artists together with amazing producers, studios, and putting together amazing content, man. So, so this is song he ever recorded. Crazy. Okay. Right? ain't gonna tell you that. It's the yeah. first song every first time he stepped in the booth was yeah. right across the hall. First song ever recorded. Okay. Right, that's a fact. Maybe get ready to get into this trip by Mick Bean. This turn is called Who It Is, man. Who it is. Mick Bean. Yeah. Who it is. Let's go, let's get into it. Mick Bean. Encore performance. Last week, him and Yanni had an amazing show last week. Go check that out. Yeah. It's available with this encore performance is much needed. This joint is by Mick Bean. This joint is called Who It Is. Once again, produced by my boy City the King. Shout out to Zod Nation, you already know, man. Yes, sir. McBean, man, who it is, man. It's time to let him know who it is, huh? You know what I mean? Sir. Let's get into it, man. <laughs> who it is, me? <laughs> Shout out to Beacon Baby <laughs> or her return show. You know what I mean? Ready. Let's go, let's get into it, man. Yeah, McBean, once again. They go to cook from up down, or look you up now. If you see cuisine, it mean I'll cook you up now. I'm gonna chop you up nice and serve you to the hounds and dogs. It's my kid off dead like the round. You was too cool, now you shriveled in the freezer. You was too hot, now you burned it by the ear. Ryan, they called you chronic, well, obviously not now. But I ain't the hell, you the icy hot now. That's your fate, big beans is in writing. Greatest MC, guaranteed, I'm sighting. These melodies, as who can't spite me. If you did get click clacks like I'm typing. I don't know what you worry about me. What's the word? And I don't know what you heard about me. But what you heard? Can you see who's supreme, homie? 
Well, that's cause they ain't ever seen Big P. All of them wish they could be Big P. Don't want me, but you need Big P. One time, tell me who could be Big P. Nobody. Let's tell a story about this little sad man. Try to talk to him with his little man hands. Why he looks scary with his little man hands? Well, Big P made a big bean on his rim. Ducked him, I just went beast in the rim. Stunned him, put his whole bean in his skin. Slugged him off with the fish, he was slim. Made a big scene out the stream he was in. Shoulda never messed with the lead, blow it in. Mr. Speaking P3, cause I mean be his enemies. A shade in between of the gleam and the gleam. If you listen where he speak, he will tell you what it is. And I don't know what you heard about me. What's the word? And I don't know what you heard about me. What you, heard? you can't see who's supreme, homie. Well, well, that's cause they ain't never seen Big P. All of you wish you could be Big P. Don't want me, but you need Big P. One time, tell me who could be Big P. Nobody, stupid. Okay. Yeah. 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 That jump was about Big Bean, that jump is called Who It Is, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, how y'all feel on that track? That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, let's keep it going. What track we got up next? We got Yo, Anti-Socially Social, yeah, you Yanni Rose. Yanni, you know I'm, I'm going to give Yanni Rose a mic. Yanni's not feeling so great today, so she's going to vibe out over here. But I want her to tell y'all about this track. Yanni Rose has been in the workshop, and I know you guys have been following me and seeing her ball. She's such an elite um, MC, especially at the stage that she's at right now. And um, she's just super dope. So I wanted to tell you about this track before we get into it. Thank you. Um, this track is inspired by me being antisocial and like needing to basically think about going outside before I go outside and just getting my mental together. I think mental health is very important and I stand by that. Right. Yeah. That's it. We're that. We're that. Mental health, we can't do nothing. Shout out to Yanni Rose. You know, she had two amazing shows already. She has nothing to prove, man. Just vibe out to your record, Yanni. You know what I mean? Let's we about go. to get into the joint Anti-Socially Social. Anti-Socially Social. By Yanni Rose. You know what I mean? Let's go. Artists and Repertoire. Mic Check Series. You know what I mean? Listen up, y'all. That's a fact, man. Shout out to my boy Noel, man. Bringing on these amazing artists group. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. You know what I mean? Can we play the instrumental or what? Don't play the track. Play the track? I bet. Yeah, Yanni, you know what I mean? We're going to do what you want to do. Oh, we can play the track. Play the track, right? I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
top notch. She got a great future. We've That's been seeing I mean. the progression in Yanni. I agree. From Absolutely. the first time she came to now, we can even That's see right. the progression in her. Absolutely. As long as yeah. queued up, no, so we getting ready to go. All right, let's do you it. You know what I mean? This yeah. is by Yoni Rose. It's showing this for anti-social and social. Let's do it. Don't talk to me unless it's about money or something. For real. Love, love, I'm just free Forever reconstructing eternally Strong with a side of struggling Hard with side of hustling Green with side of questioning Pride procrastination Walk, no destination Talk, no conversation I'd rather just never say shit Anti-social, I don't like talking to people Every time I go outside, I got a man to leave a pit People hate to see you win What kind of people not to stand Look some people in their eyes and see a soul that disappear Empty house, nobody there I'm a legend in the flesh But now the time is kind of weird Okay. Nah, that's a full song though, man. At one, thirty, at one minute and thirty seconds, that's still a full song. This shit gave a complete feeling, you know what I mean? Two full verses, that's a full song in short form, you know what I mean? Shout out to Yoni Rose on an amazing song. Shout out to my boy Noah. Shout out to my boy Noah. somewhere and then you insulate it. That's a song. True. Doesn't have to have a hook. Doesn't have to have the chorus or bridge. It just needs to be a complete thought as a song. Right. Well, congratulations to you. Keep working, keep writing because you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Words of wisdom. Yo, Crown got something to say. Pull up a little bit. The mic is a little short. What's going on now? Hey, so I like how the artists and repertoire got y'all expressing y'all so right? Y'all being original, y'all being right. true to what y'all feel. You know what I mean? I like that from both of y'all, McBain and Yanni Fire. Nova Fire. Yeah, they pushing the culture right now. They pushing it. This is, they pushing it. They these are from, um, you know, yeah, and this is, th these words of wisdom are coming from people that, you know, I admire as top level artists. So it means a lot. Who do you got something to say? Yeah, I just want to, like, I want to give them their flowers, like Nadine, mm -hmm. give me a vibe of Eminem, and that's so dope to me, like the way you flow, I felt the animation in that, yeah, and like that. Over time, I can tell you, you know, your flow, your voice, it's it's the more you do it, it's going to get out there, but you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Nani, I just really love, I, I see you all in Nova Page many times, but I watch your videos many times, I can hear the confidence in you, and confidence is very big, I can hear that you got your flow, and I can just tell over time. You're already a problem, you're gonna be a beast in a few That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 I'm both a beast. Word. Appreciate yeah. that. So proud of y'all. So proud of y'all. Real quick with McBain too, we did a show at his school a couple months ago, maybe like two months ago or whatever. Oh yeah? And you know, he did the song and all his teachers was like, I never seen that from him. That's not right? I never even seen, I never even knew he could do that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So this is what part of the workshop is, right? You know, he has been able to tap in creatively to a whole different aspect of himself. Mm -hmm. And when you say what you got from that is what everybody says, mm -hmm. right? And we tell them now all the time that this character, this being is almost a character, right? Right? Mm -hmm. right? Like you see him, you see how he presents himself, you see how he expresses himself, it comes off like a character very similar to Eminem, right? right? And you okay. use that character, you build on that, and you feed and, you know, and it will grow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, bro, I know he has something to say yeah. real quick. Um, I was saying that I didn't want, but I need McBean. Right. <laughs> I, I think uh, you remind me of actually like Tyler, the creator of the two, yeah. La Russell. I don't, know, I don't know if you heard of La Russell, but those are both like, yeah. those are like top tier.
tier artists who were in very independent, who started to work the deals of their music because of the positivity that was in it and the authenticity that the, the crowd related to. So I think you were very, um, although you had like fantasy raps, it was very relatable. The way you experience it, like I experienced you as an artist, you know what I mean? It was very human. And I feel like for you, like, your, your journey is just going to be working with different artists and producers and like growing your voice. You're so young as an artist to hear you on that. I'm like, yeah, like you, your experience, we can hear your experience in your voice. So it's just about working with different people who are going to like, you know, or have not even different, just taking different approaches to different songs. You know what I mean? And then that's going to allow you to grow as an artist, not just be in that one pocket, but like really step up but you already have a, a strong foundation. Right. Nice. Thank you, well, honey. My brother L B here, he's got something to say real quick and then we're gonna throw it back to the next song. Right. Alright, um so I've been working hard. If everybody been working hard, I had right. the opportunity to do a concert in Central Park. Um uh we're doing <laughs> I'm going to City Cell, the 25th annual, annual Sickle Cell Awareness Walk, but we're adding a uh, basically a concert aspect to it. Um, and I just want to help people and help these young artists understand sometimes you got to embrace the pressure. Because pressure makes what? Pipes. Nine, 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 nine. Nine. It's either pressure bust pipes, or pressure make diamonds. It's either all, you feel me? And artists' repertoire and the workshops have been preparing y'all to be able to take that pressure and immediately make the diamonds. So I want to give Nani an opportunity to perform September 16th at the Sickle Cell Awareness Annual 25th Walk Concert. Nice. I'm to give her a round of applause. This is a huge stage. When I'm talking about pressure, this is what I mean. Yeah. She did not know she has to September 16th to get on a huge stage in the middle of Central Park in front of every news camera, and every magazine, and every blogger, and every writer person. And you let them know who Yanni Rose is. So I want to let y'all understand that. Like, when y'all going through these workshops and y'all getting yourselves involved with people on this type of echelon right. that's putting their spirit and their soul into what they're doing for y'all, right. it's always a re rewards to reap. Um, say it again. Rewards, 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 to rewards, 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 rewards to reap. What he said. So you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Yanni Rose, shout out to Nova, shout out to Sound Pros for actually making this possible. And I want y'all to understand, like, none of this for is for not. Thank you for putting your 400 percent in it. Not your 90 percent, and we appreciate you. Good. Thank you. We appreciate yes, you, LB. So we gonna play the Sound Show Radio, Mike Check Series, Artist yeah. Workshop. We appreciate you. We gonna let Yanni. We gonna let Yanni Rose. We gonna put some more heat. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I want. I want. I want my brother to drop that joint. I want her to stand up, even if you're not feeling good. No, stand bitch. Up next to you. You feel me? And, and, and get that energy, young queen. I hope you feel better as well, too. I'll be first. Right. Yeah, man. Baby, that's what's going on. It's that pressure. Yeah. All right, so we want to get into autobiography, y'all. Yeah. We want to get into autobiography. Now, Encore Performance, man. Yanni Rose is trying to score autobiography. And then we're going to get into a replay by Leo Bars, and we're going to close down the show. You know what I'm saying? So we're having a great time, man. They said we've got two more records we're going to get, get into. A little bit more combo. We're going to get ready to wind down on this 100th anniversary slash Mike Checks, Mike Check Series and Artist Workshop. Okay. A special event. You know what I mean? Right. It was hot. It's a dope yeah. show today, man. Yeah. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. 
Support. I you know what I'm saying? Y'all follow them on IG. Y'all follow me straight out of Brooklyn on, on amazing, IG, man. the Artist of Repertoire Workshop. Like you know what I mean? We're going to keep pouring into these young artists. We're going to get out of here because we know we got our time is up. But peace and love. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Man. That was hot, yo. We appreciate y'all. We closing out. We're getting ready to close out this show. Thank you to we closing out with Yoni B, with Mick Bean and Yoni Rose. The show is called Dream Team. Thank you to everybody who came through and supported us. Yeah. That was your radio. Yeah, let's go, yeah. Let's listen to this track. It sounds so familiar and it's real fire. It's called Dream Team. That sounds like Yoni Rose and Mick Bean. Let's go. Okay, squad. 100th anniversary. We thank y'all for everything. You know what I'm saying? Right, so hot. Right, me, the baby. Right, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? 100th anniversary. You know what I mean? Thank you for so much for it. Thank you for coming to the 